Hey guys, and welcome to part 3. So in this part we'll make it so the AI actually turns to face the position on the spline, and then after that we'll make it so it gets the next spline in the path so we can go like this. Um, so we'll start with um, the turning. So we'll go back to steering, our steering function. And um, so I guess we'll just apply the steering here. We'll get control car, set steering input. And this will be pretty easy, actually. So we need to so if it's zero, we don't want to apply any. If it's twenty five, we want to apply one, so we'll just do it this way. Zero, one. Oh, we can't use the absolute because we need to go into the negatives. So we'll do negative 25 to 25, negative 1, 1. All right, let's see if the that works. Might be that simple, but maybe not. We'll have to base the speed to. Oh, actually, we already did that. Um, yeah, so the problem here is that his throttle is zero, so even though he's applying steering, it doesn't matter because he's not turning. So I bet if we turn him, he'll go. Okay, and it's also wrong, <laughs> so it's not what we want at all. Um... Hmm. I'm actually kind of surprised that's not working. Other than the driving part. The driving part we'll fix in a second, but this... Yeah. Right. Now it's working. I just had it set up wrong. Sorry about that. <clears throat> okay, so... Okay, so now he's rotating to face it. It's just that his speed is 4 because of the uh, turning issue. So we'll do... Um... Okay, so what we're doing here is if um, the steering is less than a certain amount, absolute just turns a negative value into a positive, so you get the value. Um, if it's less than 0.5, meaning we're not turning, we'll just check the distance. And um, 
if it's greater than that then we'll uh, we're steering so we want to apply our steering throttle so we'll just set that to one for now uh actually no we'll set it to point four five because we don't want him to go too crazy when he's turning it's gonna take a lot of math to get all these numbers right um but i'll just get the functionality going and, and tweak to your heart's content so as you can see he's turning He's going to drive past it because of his speed. He's going to overshoot it, but he'll turn around and come and face it again. Okay, so he's getting stuck, but that's not really too much of a concern. <clears throat> but let's also add if we're facing the wrong way. Uh, so we'll check greater than. So we'll select float. Zoom, speed, five. So uh, this is going to make it, if the turn angle is too big, he'll uh, start slowing down. Um, otherwise, he'll, uh... yeah. <clears throat> no, we screwed that up. Oh, right, because, yeah, that's not what we want. Um, two. This might work. <clears throat> now he should go. And stop. All right. So, I mean, that's, uh, it's pretty decent for how quickly we are. I mean, it's not perfect, but we're getting there. So um, you can play with the math yourself to get better results. But uh, we'll do the next uh, the next video. Uh, or sorry, not the next video. The uh, next portion where we get the uh, car to change spines. Um, that's a decent spot to to wrap up this video, actually. So I'm going to wrap up this video, and then in the next video, we'll make it so you can go to the next spline, and he'll turn, and we'll make him drive around in circles. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.